All right, people, it's about that time for another Miniplex update. There's been a few changes to the room that I would like to share with you guys. And the first up is, if you remember from the last video, I had miniature comic books that was above this doorway. And those are now gone and replaced by another set of curtains, drapes to match the room with another valance and gold tassel trim, along with tassel trim being added to the bottom as well. Then along this wall here, you remember it was two wall plaques, audio system wall plaques, in addition to a Blu-ray marquee. That's now gone and replaced with one set of uh, the wall sconces that I add, added to the room for another additional lighting. And even though this poster frame is not on, and I can't remember if I had it in the last video, but all three poster frames now light up. But I haven't cut the other two on for this video because it's just really hard to capture the lighting. I have to work on the settings with my camera. Once I get that down, then the next update I'll shoot, then I'll show how the backlit posters look in the room. Um, but yes, it's just too hard to capture the, the lighting right now. Then over here with the door, if you remember on the, the last on the door was... Uh, it was a red velour rope, an admit one ticket, and a letter marquee. Those have now been replaced with a tufted door panel that I purchased from HT Mart. Um, great site to, to go on for shopping for home theater decor and furniture, furniture, seating, you name it, they have it. But yes, um, I finally got the door looking the way I wanted to look with the peephole as well. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's really giving me the, the the movie theater vibe, you know. Um, I love it. And I think anyone who would add that to their room would really like the way it makes the room feel as well. And then over here, um, it's a new addition, which is the end game Thanos. He replaced my Infinity War Thanos that I had. See if I get a good close up. Hopefully that's good enough. Okay. Then if you scan across, come across to the room. I replaced the Infinity War Iron Spider-Man with the in-game Iron Spider-Man. Let me see. Can I get it? Can I get it? Okay, hopefully that's not too bad. And then, in addition to adding that, I remove the fourth leg from this stand as well so you can see the statue better. And what I did was I took two large L brackets, screwed them to the top of the plate of the stand, and braced it against the wall. So that way it's no slack, the table won't lean, it won't move forward. It stays put without an issue. Let me just give you another shot of the room, just for fun. And that's pretty much it for the, the most recent changes. I am highly considering going into Adobe Atmos. Right now, I'm still working out a solution for the cable management. Since mostly, mostly everything I do is on wall and not in wall. And if I can cap the height of the cables properly and disguise them to where it doesn't look, you know, messy and it looks cool and nice and like a design to the room, then I'll go ahead and make that move. Just like what I did with these sconces, if you look, I just ran the cord down across to the poster frame and it runs down the poster frame. So it actually hides it a lot better and gives it a better look. So, once I do that, then, of course, you'll see the bed layer speakers come down, and then we'll get some, maybe two to four Atmos speakers up top. So, once I get that solution worked out, then I'll make that leap. Until then, I'm going to keep enjoying my 7.2, and ride this wave for as long as I can. Alright people, 
that's all I have for now. Stay tuned. Hopefully it won't be too long before the next update for some nice changes to share. And until I see you guys again, watch me later. Peace out.